What's up, y'all? Today we're taking a look at the Pin Fathom 400. This is Pin's um, flagship casting reel. You know, they um, only got in the low profile game uh, or back into the low profile market just a couple years ago. And this is their biggest and their best model. So, to give you an idea of the size comparison, you can kind of tell it's large here, right? Right? Yeah. Pretty good size hands. But take a look and compare it to your standard bait caster. Look at the size difference here. It's kind of awkward way to hold it, but um, see, this is a massive change. This thing is huge. So let's talk about the construction real quick. Um, you've got a seven bearing system, um, which you know is not crazy, but it's not bad. Uh, they have a couple different options with the gear ratio on this thing. So they've got this 6.2, which I have. Um, yeah, 6.2. They also have. Uh, I believe it's a 7.4, a high gear ratio. And one thing that you have to keep in mind is even though that's a lower gear ratio, when you have a big spool like this, that spool is going to pick up more line. So if you actually look in, you know, inches per turn, the 6.2 gets 34 inches per turn, which is a pretty good bit of line. But, um, you know, full metal body, really, really solid um, construction the whole way through. Uh, you've got a... Um, line counters or um, like a line capacity lines on the spool which you know is not the most important thing in the world but I've got to say it's a nice feature to have um, another thing is you'll notice the huge EVA um, mega paddles here not, not even paddles they're just these big foam handles man that feels great when you're putting a lot of pressure on a big fish it keeps you nice and comfortable and um, uh, another thing I like is the spool control here this is something that's pretty unique to the pin roll, but um, if you'll see, most of your spool controls are just a silent turn. This one's studded the whole way through, I'm trying to get the focus there. And, hear that. It's got a clicker, so there's a little bit of a firm spot with each adjustment, and you can have an idea of where you're at. I just like it a lot better now that I've used it a tiny bit than just your standard loose spool control. You have, you know, your dual braking system, so you've got your main spool control tensioner knob, and you've also got, you know, your standard magnet system on the other side. To open it up, check out those magnets. It's just this little screw knob right here. You um, loosen that up a little bit. It pulls out, and that spool flips up there, opens up. You can check out your magnet system. Nothing crazy. Um, you know, you can see pretty much just your standard um, low-profile braking system. Pretty well made. Put it back together. You just drop that spool in there, click it over, tighten that little knob up, and you are good to go. Um, it's got a brass main gear, which means it's going to be pretty tough. It uses their pins, um, you know, uh, trademarked H2100 drag system, which is what they use on the vast majority of their reels. You know, that drag system is famous for being incredibly smooth. And another thing I like about it is it's hard to tell, but this drags the star knob here. Um, is massive. It's hard to tell, but it's super, super large, oversized, really easy to rotate and um, adjust when you need to. The gold accents on everywhere just flat out look good. You can see the ones on the handles there, all over. It's just a dang good looking reel. But you know, some of you guys might be asking, you know, what on earth are you gonna do with a bait caster this big? And uh, I'm gonna talk about it because I gotta, there's not a whole lot of uses. You know, most of your baitcaster use is in the bass fishing world. And there's not a ton of times that this becomes necessary with bass fishing. There's times that it's nice. You know, I put it on my big swim bait rods and I'll fish this really nice for Alabama rigs because normally when you're throwing those big lures, when you're talking about two, three, four, five ounce rigs, they get really, really overloaded on most of your standard bait casting reels. And it just feels the whole time like you're about to snap it off. It just feels like you're way overworking your reel. You don't feel that with the 400. Like, at all. It feels super in tune, feels just right when I've been throwing it with those bigger swim baits and Alabama roots. But like I said, you don't really need a reel this size for that and um, it, it's not really what it shines for. What it is great for is if you throw in bigger lures um, for bigger freshwater stuff, so musky fishing, that's the rule for y'all guys. Um, another time, you know, any heavy freshwater stuff, and really where I'm gonna get a lot of use is in the saltwater world. This reel is the perfect size for pitching bait. Tarpon, mackerel, uh, bonita, just throwing those larger lures. Uh, I'll be using it for pitching for cobia some. Um, I'll actually use it for trolling off my kayak. 
This is a great reel for slow pitch jigging if you need a really high line capacity. You know, it holds about 200 yards of 50 pound braid, maybe a little bit more. Um, but you know, for slow pitch jigging, you're using 20, usually about 20 to 30, no more than 30 pound braid. You can just like slap this thing full four, five, maybe even 600 yards of 15 or 20 pound braid. I don't know exactly, but it will hold a lot of that lighter stuff. So that gives you the line capacity to still have something that's really light, only weighs 14 ounces, which is not bad um, at all, especially for a reel of this size. And it'll let you fish that, uh, you know, deeper water and not have to worry about, yeah running out of line when you hook a big fish. So, you know, there's it's a very specialized system. You know, you don't need this for everything, but it really shines in the areas you do want. I'll be using it for bull reds, pretty much just anything that I'll be targeting the fish, you know, in that 10 to, I don't know, 50, 60 ish pound range where I'm throwing those bigger lures, not just in something that's got a little more um, just power for handling those better sized fish. So, like I said, uh, I haven't got a whole lot of use on it yet. I haven't um, actually, you know, put it out, get it offshore, put it on some big fish. Um, I have thrown it around a bunch, cast like a dream. It's pretty smooth. Um, you know, you can hear it kind of clicking there. This is just my leader because I already have it spooled up. Uh, just kind of clicking along there. But, um, like I said, I've really liked it so far. I can't wait to put it to the test on some really big fish. And, you know, long-term durability, I don't know yet. I've only had this thing for a few weeks now and um, haven't really, um, you know, put it through all the extreme testing I usually get on my tackle, um, get it on my tackle. But if you guys would like to see me come back, you know, six months, 10 months, you know, um, come back maybe a year or whatever and have a long-term durability test on this or just a review on the long-term durability um, Just let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would be interested I don't know if there's like anybody even cares anymore like if it holds up I don't know it's important to me, but I just like to hear y'all's opinions on it um, but Anyways, I've been pretty impressed with this reel so far um, being uh, the 400 size, you know, this is pins biggest reel um, very similar to the Shimano um, Trans X or Tran X and the Daiwa Lexa. Um, price wise, usually these are sitting around that 300 mark, maybe 320. You know, you'll see sales on them pretty often. I'll drop my um, Amazon link in the description. You guys can just check that out and see if, um, you know, whatever the price is on there at the time. But um, so, you know, usually runs, depending on your model, um, you know, with the Lexa. The Lexa, um, Daiwa's option, usually is that runs a little bit cheaper. Um, the Shimano Train X is quite a bit more expensive. Usually that one's sitting around the $400 mark. And, you know, this is very similar in size to the 400 on all those models. So, um, you know, I haven't fished the Train X or the Lexas yet. Um, you know, the Shimano, they do make a 500, which is just a massive reel. It's a huge jump up in size from this. You're talking about holding like almost 400 yards of 50 pound braid. It weighs like 20 ounces. It is massive. Um, it, it, is it really a low pro at that point? I don't know. I mean, even this one's kind of pushing it. But either way, that's all I got to say about the Pin Fathom 400 LP. This is their standard gearing. And um, man, I'm pretty impressed so far. I can't wait to put it out to work on some big fish. You guys, um, you know, if you have any questions or something you want me to test out, anything, any, any feedback, just drop in the comments. Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. You know, if you give me a like and subscribe and check out some of the other content on the channel, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys.